to Bethan's Kitchen and Garden. Today I'm on the plot and I'm about to sow some carrots. So I thought I would show you what's occurring on the bed. So here's the bed that I've stripped. I've got a photo of what it did look like. But what I've now done is taken out all those cabbages and the nasturtiums. And I did have quite a few caterpillars. I can see one on the bed now. I'll get that little blighter in a minute. And I took off all the mulch, which was grass clippings, which I'm just going to put into the compost to compost down a bit more. And um, I gave, I've just given this a thorough soak. I've soaked it with two watering cans full of water. And I'm just going to top dress it with some homemade compost and I, I've brought over some seed cutting compost and um, I'm going to put them in the lines where I'm going to sow the carrots just to make sure that it has the best start it can. I've just top dressed it with my own um, compost which I have to say I'm very pleased about it looks lovely I've sieved it I sieved it a while ago but uh, it's been in a bag for uh, most of the summer so in these lines now I'm just gonna put some seed sowing compost and then scatter some seeds So I don't need a lot, just enough so that the seeds come in contact with it. I'm just using the seed sowing compost um, because it's so late to plant that um, I want to give them the best chance I can. So I'll get on with uh, putting the seed compost down and then I'll um, show you me planting the uh, seed. I'm not sure if you can pick up very well the difference between the seed sowing compost and the normal compost um, but we're gonna have to do a little bit of an experiment now because I've run out of seed sowing compost so I managed to fill two and a half lines of it and the other half a line here and this one on the end will have to be an experiment to see if there's any difference so um, if I end up with two and a half rows of carrots we'll know why but I'll, uh, I'll get round to uh, sowing these seeds now That's all the carrots sold for this year now, unless I think of something else. So fingers crossed there will be carrots for this winter, although I am cutting it a little bit fine. But hopefully we'll have a good September and October. I just wanted to show you the harvest I've just done. Um, I'm kind of getting this harvest quite a lot at the moment, um, every three or four days. So. Um, I'm a bit up to my eyeballs in courgettes, but I'll show you, well not courgettes as such, because as you will see, they are massively overgrown and I haven't stayed on top of harvesting them. But my raspberries and tomatoes, I'm getting that much, if not more, every couple of days. And I'm waffling, let me show you my harvest. So we've got 
This, uh, these, these two tomato uh, punnets are from the raised beds, and those are runner beans. My first pepper from the allotment. I've had a couple from the greenhouse, but not from here. Um, my cucumber. Um, my raspberries, oh, and some French beans there, but um, I have got more French beans to harvest. They're right up the top. We'll have a look when, um, after I've done the brassicas, if I've got time to harvest them. And then, just millions of courgettes, humongous courgettes as well. Look at the size on them. So, I mean, if all those were that size, then I wouldn't have a problem, would I? But they're not. They this size, which is humongous. However, that's still perfectly fine. What I do with it is I cut it in quarters, so like down the middle and then down the other middle, if that makes any sense. So I halve it and then quarter it, and then um, I cut away the seeds because the seeds would be very um, spongy. And if the skin is tough, I take off the skin and then I grate the rest and use it that way. And um, and that's fine. I think a lot of these will be grated and put into my freezer. I got a couple of cabbages here. That cabbage is split, so I don't know how good that will be. But them two are good. I've got one more good cabbage there to harvest. And my tomatoes. These are Roma tomatoes. And... Um, they look good actually. That's a nice crop from there. The Roma tomatoes I find get blight quick, so um so I'm happy with them. But I'll put this harvest in the truck now and we can go and have a look at the brassicas. I'm up by the brassica bed now and I was hoping to get those tomatoes done, this bed done, and this bed done. But there's no chance that's gonna happen. So I'm gonna concentrate on this bed because the um, purple sprouting broccoli is now pushing against the um, uh, netting and if you can see over here there's actually a butterfly and all that needs to do is to land on the netting and then um, lay an egg on there and that's well as you can see um, a lot of the leaves look like they've been munched by something but let's get this netting off and see what we're dealing with. The net is off and we have got some fairly thick stems on the go. So I think any damage to the leaves should be okay. Shouldn't damage the plant too much. Right, let's get weeding then. netting I put on it might be long enough to stretch across the whole amount but I'll have to do that another day as um, I need to go and pick up my children and I also need to do crossbars just across the top I'm not sure yet whether I'm going to put the, um, the half hoops like here uh, and attach them to, uh, to these so that they sort of raise up and over like that. I'm not sure if I'll do that yet or um, if I'll leave it as it is. Well that's it for today. I am really tired now. Um, the sun has come out and it's a bit draining but um, at least I managed to get the uh, 
purple sprouting broccoli covered again, which was my main worry. So um, I just now need to stake the broccoli and um, do the crossbars and um, just make sure that netting is really secure for over the winter. So um, that's it for today. I was very pleased with what I got done, but I would have liked to have got a bit further. But never mind, isn't that always the way? Thank you for watching, liking and subscribing if you have done so. And um, all I can say about that is lovely job.